Okay, here's where I am. I have drawn a semicircle with a string. I put my thumb right here and I put the marker right there and I went like that and I labeled where my thumb was a C and then I put a principal axis right here. The next thing that you need to do when you're setting up a convex mirror situation is you put a little F right here, that's your focal point, and we're going to do the same thing with a concave mirror. So I did the same setup, and then I'm gonna put the focal point at one half that distance right there. This is a concave mirror, so my light's gonna be over here, and it's dark over there, and that's the mirror. It's time to fire up your ray gun. Excellent, let's shoot some rays. My first ray is the P ray, and I'll summarize all these guys, define them for you a little bit, and draw them in their particular colors. P ray. The P ray comes in parallel to the axis, that's why it's called parallel, or P ray. Comes in parallel to axis, and that sucker will leave leaves <clears throat> through the focus. Let's see what that looks like. I have an, a ray coming in parallel to the axis and leaving through the focus. We'll do a concave mirror first. If it's coming in parallel to the axis, here's my P ray. Boop! This is my P ray. Coming in parallel to the axis and will leave through the focus. So this is actual light, you can see because it's not dotted, but that is the P ray that is now leaving through the focus, coming in parallel to the axis. Let's do the same thing on the convex mirror. It comes in parallel to the axis, and it leaves through the foot. What the heck does that mean? It can't leave through the focus. The focus is over on the other side here, and there's nothing here but darkness. Okay, so I have to put a little asterisk on it in my mind. This is the P ray, and it doesn't quite go out through the focus. It goes out as if it came from the focus. Pew, 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 pew. So it was like coming from right there, and it will be like leaving like right there. That's my P ray. Okay, so the P ray is gone, and so is that green marker. Excellent. So you fire up your ray gun again, and what are we gonna shoot next? I'd like to shoot the F ray. Excellent, F. The F ray is the exact opposite of the P ray. Comes in, guess what? Through the focus, and leaves. How does it gonna leave? I mean, I guess it's gotta leave parallel. Parallel to axis. Okay, let's try it out. We're gonna go to our concave first. Usually that's a little bit simpler. And I hit myself a P ray. Nope, got P already. I'm gonna hit myself an F ray. Excellent, it's gonna come in through the focus. Watch this. Come in, remember I've gotta draw everything as it, it's interacting with this plane right here, not the mirror surface as it's shown because I could get errors introduced. I'm gonna come in through the focus. Ready, and leaves parallel to the axis. And there's that F ray. F coming in here, and leaving parallel. Oh my goodness, they are exact opposites of each other. Opposites. Cool. Now let's do the F ray for the convex mirror, which usually means it's a little bit more complicated. I suppose I mean if it is heading for the focus, then it will leave parallel. So let's fire an F ray. Excellent. It's coming for the focus, and suddenly, boom, it doesn't make it to the focus, then it leaves parallel. This can be a source of confusion right here. Be very careful. I need to draw a dotted line, and the dotted line always shows where it looks like the ray came from. So you follow the ray back and you're like, hey Ray, where'd you come from? Hey Ray, hey Ray, where'd you come from? Oh shoot, I'm making a mistake here. I'm supposed to draw all these as if they're coming from a line that's over here. So I'll just make the line really thick. 
to, to mask my mistake. Excellent. And then I'll put a dotted line here. Da, 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 da. It came as if it was, it left as if it came from uh, parallel to the axis. All right, the next ray that I want to discuss is the C ray. And C is probably my second favorite ray. Here's the C ray. The C ray is rather simple. It comes in through center of curvature and it leaves through center of curvature. What fun! All right, let's do it. We got a C ray here for this concave mirror. And the C ray for the concave, I'm gonna actually use a different ray gun this time. The C ray is coming in through the center of curvature. Excellent, and it goes like this. Let's see if I can draw one that will actually fit on the screen. I'm gonna draw the C ray coming in through the axis, through the center of curvature. It goes like this through the center of curvature. Boop, hits right there. That's my C ray. It's coming in, and the thing is, it always hits at a right angle to the mirror surface. So I have to draw it acting over here. But it hits, it actually hits the curvature of the mirror at a point where it's normal to the curvature of the mirror. And so it comes back out exactly on the same line. And you can't see what's happening here, but I've got one coming in and coming right back out. <clears throat> Let's do that on the convex mirror. On the convex mirror, we're supposed, oh shoot, how can we come in through the C? No, it's just that we're aiming at the C. I'm gonna draw a little bit more of this original mirror so that you can remind yourself this is supposed to be a convex mirror. So we have something coming in as if it were heading for the C, heading straight for a crash with our center of curvature. And it hits, oh shoot, it always is gonna hit normal to the surface. That's the, that's the principle reason for it being a C. If you're aimed at the center of your curvature, then, I mean, look, if you're approaching, <clears throat> dang it, if you're approaching a sphere and you're heading directly for the center of that sphere, then you're always gonna be normal to the surface of the sphere, of course. So the C ray is coming in like that, and again, boom, leaving right back like that. But it looks as if it came from the center of curvature. All right, <clears throat> one more ray. This is probably my favorite, Ray. Get ready, what's, uh, what's your favorite color? I think I'll probably do blue. Never really liked blue, but it is a nice color, uh, and it's a good marker, actually. It's the M Ray, and my book doesn't even have the M Ray in there, but it's my absolute favorite one. Hits the mirror at the axis. I don't even care where it's coming from. It hits that freaking mirror at the axis, it leaves at the same angle. It must, it must leave at the exact same angle because if it hits a mirror at the axis, if it hits the mirror at the axis, I don't even care where it's coming from, but if it hits that mirror at the axis, then it's as if it's hitting a plane mirror. Oh. <clears throat> if it hits the mirror at the axis, leaves at the same angle, that means that theta incident is theta reflected. Arr, reflected, this is not initial and final, it's incident and reflected. Oh, before I go on, I'm gonna say that the C ray is its own opposite. That's cool. The C ray reflects itself. It's not like F being the reflection of P, it's the C ray being its own reflection. But the M ray is a reflection and it's just like a plane wave. It's exactly like, <clears throat> I didn't mean to say plane wave. I mean, let's see if I can write properly. Like a plane Mirror, and I don't mean a plane mirror. Yeah, I guess I do. They're the same thing in this context. A plane mirror, a normal flat mirror because it's coming in and it's leaving. And let's see how that looks for a concave mirror. It will look like this. I'm gonna give you a um, an M-ray, ready? Okay, here we go. Light comes in, boom, hits the axis, and light goes out. Boom, at the same angle. It has to, because that's the M ray. It's as if the mirror is flat. The M ray doesn't know that the mirror is curving away or in or anything stupid like that. Let's draw the M ray over here and then we can bask in the glory of these silly pictures. M ray comes in, M ray is all like, wait a second, we need a, a little zap here. Ooh, three M rays fired at the same time. 
BAM! And it hits and it bounces. BAM! And the M ray is all like that. It is coming in and leaving at the same angle. This is theta incident and this is theta reflected. If you put all of these rays together, you can learn about where images are formed. And we'll do that in the next video.